Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, and welcome to Disruptive Life Coaching. Let's talk about what we're going to do in this space. It's going to be different than anything I've ever done before, so let me give you some of the features. Everyone that's in this group has my personal cell phone number. You can't call me anytime, but you can text me anytime for a more immediate response, or if you have something a longer. Because this, this is one of the things that I've noticed in the last four going on five years. People want to talk to me. They want in-depth answers. And I thought, that's great, but it takes a lot of time. And there are a lot of people that really don't want to do any remuneration for that. So that's something for you. You have the phone number. You can text me a question, get an answer, or you can email me. On Facebook fastest way to get me on email because I look at those first and I will get to you first essentially you go to the top of the food chain because I looked at what I wanted to do because essentially I had to life coach myself starting in 1998 and it was a three-year period that I absorbed a lot of information and I started to connect the dots so I can give you the benefit of not having to go through all of that stuff. And another thing, I'm a much different person than I've been. God, I mean, the change has been substantial. I look at life a little differently and I've been through hell and back. So I can kind of give you a different perspective because you as a member of Disruptive Life Coaching will also be a member of Hustle University and the advanced conservative hustler mindset training the difference because you know just to make sure the difference between the advanced hustler conservative mindset training i said it wrong i know but you get it is this is going to be more hands-on there's going to be different courses because hustler university will deal with hustling making money and stuff the advanced mind training there'll be some esoteric training there but the coaching is what i see in the gym and the reason i developed this program and it was actually by request was i work out of the gym and there's some trainers and they're training the same people two and three days a week and i know they're paying for this and the people are getting results because of the consistency of the proper training techniques and information so that's what i want to give to you because essentially at some point, and this is not now, when this gets a little bit bigger, I'm going to hire an assistant. And there'll be someone that can call you and say, hey, are you on track? Because sometimes that's all you need. You, you have a family, you have your, your business, and sometimes you just need to talk to someone to say, hey, are you on track? Because as an entrepreneur, it's a very lonely situation. It's just you. Your wife may be on board, which or husband may be on board, which is helpful, but a lot of times they're not. So it's just kind of you against the world. This would be more of a, a motivation, training, cr uh, crowdsourcing motivation type deal. Because when I was in the military, I noticed that we would be in formation running. And that kind of created a certain kind of energy. So those are the benefits of disruptive life coaching. It's going to be specific things. And once again, I've learned from doing this for four years that I can't give you like an hour long <laughs> daily task to do. But I can give you what I'm going to call like quick coaching tips, something maybe five minutes, six minutes, something you could do, something you can get some benefit and in incorporating your day because I can't give you a ton of information too quick because it's too much. And also, everyone has a different situation. Uh, I've decided to reserve the Skype sessions only for people in disruptive life coaching. And at the moment, there are only three. So everyone can get on when I start that. Also, you can ask me any question about anything, any subject, any topic, any of that stuff. And we're going to have really different kind of conversations, different mastermind. It's like it's going to be totally different. But you get the full breath of the Hustler Mindset Project because you're at that level. So how does it really benefit you? When I changed how I thought, I changed my life. 
I mean 180 degree radical change. How I live now, and this this is also part of you know the experience and going through these things. I've learned not to talk to my friends and other people because when you live a life of design, you live a life of choice, other people frequently will not understand because they cannot relate. Cannot simply relate. It is scary to them because when you live a life of design, a life of choice, you make certain concessions. It may not you may not have the securities of a nine to five. You may not have um, the stability that society says you should have without a regular job, but you will have the mental clarity and you will have the mental stability of freedom. Freedom has a price, which is ironic since we're talking about freedom. But when you do this stuff, your life just changes in so many ways because I've said it so many times and people are tired of hearing about it, but one of the most powerful books I ever read was The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, but I read the book 10 times. I want you to understand what I was going through. I was broke. I had nothing but time. When I started to understand that my time was a resource, because see, I didn't understand it. As a kid, it's just like sitting down, watching Scooby-Doo cartoons. Time is just this thing that you really don't define. You look at it as you have forever because you're a kid and your perspective is the days are long. When I started to reframe my perspective that time was a valuable resource and I started to invest that time wisely, the dividends of my life started to pay off in terms of financially because your... Your payoff comes much later after the effort. And becoming successful takes time. That is one of the things that creates a lot of problems for many, many people is they trip up on that. It takes months, it takes time. And for some of you, we may do class projects. I haven't really decided on that because I will say there is someone that I've already outlined a project for her because of the way she's going and we're just going to kind of walk her through her business because it's not rocket science to a degree but if you don't have the information and you don't have the proper way to frame it it might as well be rocket science because you're not understanding it you don't understand it you don't implement it you don't implement it you don't get the benefits and also on the pay like after a certain price point after you pay like so much then you're like guaranteed in for life so that's something else so this will not not go on forever and ever and ever but you know I am like doing this for you're like the first class of disruptive like you're the guinea pig so there's a lot of stuff that's gonna come on uh, right here in this space where vidcaster this is it will just be the disruptive life coaching tab that's it there will be any every video for you would be under that and i'm going to put you in the group myself um i got to figure out how i'm going to do that because oh i'm gonna make it simple i will take your email address put you in the group send you a, a password you can use that password or you can change it if you so desire so start putting you in the groups and we'll start rocking this thing out. And there'll be a lot of information. I will share things with you that I don't share with other people in the groups because they're not like really looking for that. Uh, one of the reasons that I made Hustle You is everyone is looking for eBay, Amazon, and they're just kind of stuck and they can't see that becoming a creator and making your own products, whether they're physical or digital, is a much better deal. And we're going to talk about that. And, <clears throat> excuse me. There will be conversations about that throughout Hustle You. But for you guys, I'm going to take, I mean, I'm just going to be straight up with you. My first book, you know, it went through the ultimate storage auction guide to finally how to make money with storage unit auctions, A to Z, 2011. That was the last, well, that print book. And then the journey to storage auction says, all of that stuff has made me like 400 grand since 2009 
my cost, it, it was it was just knowledge I had. 400000 plus, and that's just the books. That's not the consultant. That, that, in four years, just information. So what, when I'm saying you can sell information, we're going to like talk about some stuff because Kindle has changed. I'm coming up with a new directive on that because as I talked about things I wanted to teach you, the platforms changed that the information I was going to give you is now obsolete. And that created a lot of problems for me because I didn't want to put out a Kindle book when I knew it wasn't going to work. I could have, but it was stupid to do so. So it created this paradox for me of saying I want to do this, but I couldn't do it because I knew it wouldn't work. Like my uh, eBay book. eBay made so many changes that all that book would do would get you in trouble. And I've had so many people, it's like, hey, I want it, I want it. It's like, it will not help you. So that's part of dealing with this new disruptive economy because it changes so quick. I did a video this morning about the new YouTube comments thing. People are like losing their minds. You're forcing me to go to Google Plus. It's a great thing if you're selling stuff online. It's awesome because it creates those conversations. I know exactly what Google's doing. People who are just want to comment and used to the old system because people are resistant to change. We want our old YouTube. In a few weeks, few months, no one's going to say anything about it. So understand, uh, there's be a lot of different training. I will give you my personal philosophy, my manifesto. I will actually have you write one. Yes, you will be writing your own personal manifesto. Because one of the major tenets of mine is we tend to regret the things we didn't do so do more so than the fuck ups we committed. And that's one of the things I lead my life with. If there's something that may be silly, crazy, I just jump in because I know that if I screw up, that will not be as bad if I don't do it. And I don't want to be 105 years old going, I wish I had did this. I, I wish, I wish, uh, I forgot because I'm old. Now, you know, I don't want to be that dude with all those. I wish I w don't want to be that person. So I would rather fail in flames and people laugh at me and go on fine, laugh. But at least I'm like, okay, I tried. I know where it is and I learned these lessons. And I want you to get to that point because when you start having that methodology of not being afraid to fail, and this isn't to say that, hey, you know, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't, it, it doesn't feel good, but I've learned to mentally sharpen myself that I will go through failure and emerge on the other side so much better because I don't get all despondent and funky because right now I have a personal situation that the immediate response was anger resentment and I was pissed off and I have a 24 hour cooling off policy and a 48 hour cooling off policy before I make major 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 decisions and I was getting ready to do some crazy stuff but since I had this policy which is a check and balance of my personal ego once I went to and it's like and it took the 48 hours because 24 hours I was still like yeah I was like all right we're gonna wait another 24 hours and we still feel the same way and after I started to de-layer from the stress and the resentment I was like okay that plan is not the best course of action and I was able to divert myself because this is this is what you are right now it's just managing your mental environment that is what makes people successful and that's what makes people unsuccessful by not managing your mental environment. I uh, like the crap that went on with YouTube. I was getting ready to file lawsuits. I even sent a guy a C and D letter. Scared the hell out of him because once I calmed down, and also the letter was also just part of to kind of like you know let you know like buddy, there's some coming because a lot of that that stuff stopped. So understand with your mental environment. I'm going to teach you how to control your emotions. This isn't saying you're not going to have emotions. I just said I got pissed off. I was mad. I was resentful. But I know that going with those emotions in the moment are counterproductive. Because when you make certain decisions in the heat of anger or passion, sometimes they can be great. But frequently they can be fraught with chaos disaster and bad outcomes so we're going to talk about those things uh there's some books i haven't mentioned online 
I'll recommend them to you as I create this list. There's all kinds of stuff and it's going to be very cafeteria style. It's going to be very open. And like I said, you can like sit down, pen and paper, you know, I'm big with pen and paper. And it's like, hey, I want to talk about this. And you just send me an email, send me a text, and we can just do it as a group deal. Because this is the thing. I've learned that people learn better in smaller groups. And I figure the cap on this would be about, because I can do it right now myself, but when we get to 35, 40 people, that's when I will hire an assistant. And, you know, I'm looking to build up to that. So when we get to that level, it's going to change up a little bit. But right now, I'll be doing a lot of the stuff. Because, like I said, right now, it's only three of you. <laughs> so, it's not that hard to keep up. And also, like I said, anything that comes to mind, anything that you're thinking about, write it down. And this is what I ask that you do. Write it down because when you write it down, it forces you to, it forces you to structure your question a certain way. You know, texting even, because you have to think. I'm like, I'm going to ask this. And then we will have all these topics because... You'll still get the hustler stuff from Hustle You, the advanced mind, because you're in that space. And this space is more for personal development because I learned that once I got the mental environment together, the success was much easier to get because you have people out there who are trying to build castles with straw hammers. You don't have the right tools. You're not going to get the right results. And the right tool is getting this straight first before you go out there and try to do all these wonderful things because of self-sabotage, because of narratives that your parents get. There's so many things that can trip you up that you're unaware of and you put all this effort and then that's where people start saying, hey, you know, it wasn't meant to be and God, no, you're not using the right tools to get the things that you want. Because like I said, I will share some scandalous stuff with you too. <laughs> Not in this video, but I will share some scandalous stuff with you too. That the power, I don't think I have one here, of writing down what you want on a sheet of paper with proper intention and piling it in a folder somewhere. It is eerie amazing how often that stuff happens. Because you know, I'm not going to get into the law of attraction because the law of attraction is like maybe this much of a pie that big. And a lot of people don't understand that. But it's very powerful. So when you have goals, you understand universal law, you have the proper mental environment, and you're working your ass off, the results are almost guaranteed. They're virtually guaranteed when you put all of that stuff together and you're consistent with it. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be better. I want you to be happier. This stuff helps you with relationships. This stuff happens with your, helps you with your marriage, helps you with your business, helps you with other relationships. It's just cool stuff. And that's what disruptive life coaching is because as we go forward in this 2013 and we go to 215, 216, 217, 218, 2, all that, you will see massive disruption in our social uh, landscape because we're in a strange place. Our technology is doing this. It's hockey stick growth with technology. And we're going to see things that, you know, when we were kids, were cartoon ideals. It's going to be driverless cars, trucks, and cabs in our lifetime, which are going to displace a massive number of people. So what I'm trying to get you to do is get on the knowledge worker, create stuff, build stuff, be on the other side of the table versus looking for a job. You want to be offering jobs because it's a totally different uh, outcome. Because 10 years, there are people that you know right now who have great jobs, life's going good. And if they continue to gain knowledge and keep their skill sets good, they're going to be okay. But if they get stagnant and don't really stack, their, you know, continue to gain new skill sets and be aware of the world what's happening, there are people who are doing great right now who are going to be suffering, who are going to go to damn near abject poverty because the world is moving so fast. And they're fine now, but they're, they're, what they have it will become obsolete. And if they don't have new skills, 
and being an entrepreneur, being a creative person, being able to think outside the box, being able to create the build stuff, that's very hard to outsource. And it, it's this, I'm telling you, it put me in a situation where I don't have that normal life. Now, let's talk about money. Everyone wants to talk about money. I'll tell you, I made way more money in the storage auction business. Much more money. However, I worked six to seven days a week. I didn't have a lot of control over my schedule when auctions were going on. I didn't have a lot of control in my schedule when customers called me. I, did, I had to come out of that to realize how much lack of control of my life I had when I was in that business. So going on with there's emotional currency, there's spiritual currency, time is a currency. I am richer now overall than I was when I was making all that money because I was rich fiscally, but I was time poor. I was emotionally poor. There were so many things that I was poor in because I was all about that dollar. And that's one of the things, that's one of the perspectives I'm going to bring to you because I could tell you something that a lot of folks will not tell you. You get your house paid off, you got your cars paid off, and you might have 500000 in your 401k. You can have a decent retirement. And people are like, what? Because you know, you need a million, you need two million, you need to. No, you need to learn how to manage your money now. Your house paid off. Because, like I said, before I started the hustler mindset, I was kind of halfway retired. When uh, my partner died, I didn't do shit for six months. You know, because when she got the news, then she got sicker, she went out. I was there. And I really wasn't doing anything. It was a struggle to put videos up on YouTube, but my income went up because of the things I had did already. And that's something else. You know, we're going to talk about a lot of different stuff. And something that some of you may have noticed, I purposely didn't put up some stuff in the Hustler Mindset Project to kind of weed people out. Because if I give you information that can change your life, I feel that that is invaluable. But... If you're like looking at 25 bucks a month and you're not getting what you want, then that means we're incompatible. And a lot of people left because I, you know, I wanted them gone because this thing is turning into a new direction, richly the original direction. So some people gone, some people don't, they want, bam, I want the eBay stuff. I want this. I want this. And there are so many groups that do eBay, Amazon, FBA, all these things that it doesn't really make sense for me to try to duplicate or compete with these groups when there are people who are literally giving away million dollar information for free in a group because they want the authority currency. That's a currency when, you know, I am the person in this field. I am the head Kuno. I'm the go to person for this. That's a form of currency. So they're getting paid not in cash, but in that emotional gratitude currency. I looked at it and I was just like, hey, you know, let's shift this thing because if you can create, if you can make stuff, if you can cut Detroit, 1950s was the world's second largest economy behind the United States. Just the city of Detroit. What happened? They made stuff. So that's a very, very powerful position to be in. And once again, what did I just tell you? With technology, you will be able to create products, come up with stuff, and not leave your house. You will be able to go to your computer, talk to a plant in China, get your designs. I'm talking about just like you upload a book in Kindle, you will be able to do that stuff with a plant, have your product made, shipped over here, put on them. All that stuff's coming. The creator spot is so hot, and it's it's got a lot of issues, too. I'm not going to... Say, oh, no, it's all wonderful because you can create something that can be an absolute bust. My first five businesses sucked big monkey balls. I mean, they were horrible. I didn't make I, I got to the point from losing money to breaking even to making a little money, which was progress. But in my mind, I was just like, you know, I'm not balling out. I'm not doing what I want to do. And then when I learned I was paying my dues. Each one of those businesses, I learned some very important lessons that still help me today. So being a creator has a lot of risk because you may make some and the market may go, <laughs> I mean, I like it. which means make something else. Don't give up, you know, develop that tenacity to keep going and going and going and going. 
So that's a lot of that stuff that we're going to be talking about in this space. So that's it for now. There will be more stuff next week. And there's going to be, I mean, there's going to be plenty of stuff for you between Hustle You, the Advanced Mindset Training, and Disruptive Life Coaching. It's going to be a lot of stuff. The biggest thing is you have personal access to me that other people do not. Because I purposely have whittled down my email list. I've kind of whittled down. I've like deleted stuff. I've kind of made it hard for people to contact me because most of, and, and this is a quantification thing, 90% of the emails was, could you help me do this? Hey, what should I buy at auctions? I mean, really things that will require a great deal of thought and consideration to give them an adequate reply. And I looked at that and I was just like, hmm, do I want to take the emotional gratitude currency or do I want the cash? And I was like, I want the cash because I want to keep this lifestyle I have going on. And a lot of the people who have these blogs and the blogs are and the YouTube channels are great, but a lot of them have jobs. Because they don't understand that if you don't set this up correctly, you can work yourself to death and not make any money. And I don't want that for you because blogging is hot. Uh, Facebook page, there's, there's so many things we're going to talk about. And there's so much information that I have to be careful and kind of back up because if there's a lot of other people talking about it, and if I don't have experience with it, I'm not really going to talk about it that much. Only reason that I talk about Amazon FBA is I outsourced my eBay from 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009. Whew, wish I had did it from day one. But I didn't know to do that. And I understand. So being able to outsource the, sh you know, and really, my deal was better because they listed it on Amazon FBA. You got to list it. You've got to put the pricing in. I dropped it off. They listed it. They put it up. And I got paid every week. It was a wonderful thing. My big thing was taking the truck over there and dropping the stuff off. That's what I did. So understand, we're going to rock. We're going to roll. And just think creator, inventor. So many little things are going to be in this space that's just going to blow your mind. All right, this is Glenn and Cameron. Thank you for joining. I appreciate your faith and confidence. And I'll see you on the good side.